Hey guys, what's going on? It's JT here. Um, I just wanted to say a couple things about this Michael Jackson Conrad Murray trial. I've been trying to keep track of it pretty well. I've been watching it when I can. Um, I'd say I've watched maybe 20% of it basically since it's, it started. And I'm actually losing interest. <clears throat> and I love this kind of stuff. I think it's cool. But uh, this whole thing is just drug on way, way too long. And they were supposed to release the jury today, um, according to the judge. Today was supposed to be the last day. I think it's the 28th is today. Um, but they, they, all they're, it doesn't make sense to me because all they're trying to do is say, look, Dr. Murray gave him this stuff, whatever it is, propofol, propofol or lorazepam, whatever, and Michael Jackson OD'd. It doesn't matter if Michael Jackson took it himself or if Dr. Murray gave him the fatal dose. Dr. Murray was his personal physician there in his best interest to take care of him. He gave him medication that was only supposed to be used in a hospital setting and completely didn't monitor, monitor him the whole time he was on it. So it doesn't matter. If Michael Jackson got up and grabbed a whole bottle of pills and took them and died, it's still not 100% his fault. Now, if there was no, if he didn't have a personal physician on call, if he wasn't hooked up to an IV, if he wasn't getting propofol at all, and he was just home by himself and decided to grab a handful of pills, and yeah, if Dr. Murray was his doctor and he wasn't supposed to be monitoring him and he didn't have him hooked up to an IV, then no big deal. But it is a big deal. Dr. Murray should have known better than to do what he did. And I think it's ridiculous this trial is going on this long. I'm sure the jury has already got their mind set. Dr. Murray is at false for gross negligence. There's no question about it. There's just no question about it. I don't care how many character witnesses you bring up. Even if he did reach over and grab a bottle and take it, it's still partially Dr. Murray's fault. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, that's the way I see it. I mean, I have medication I take. You know, but if I had a doctor in here every night to give me some kind of IV medication and the medication's laying there on the table and he's in the other room going to the bathroom or calling his girlfriend and I'm drugged up on something that this doctor gave me and I took too many pills, it's not my fault. It's, it's the doctor's fault. He probably wasn't in his right mind because he was under the influence of propofol. So I don't see this making a big difference. Um... In the case, I still think the jury is probably going to uh, have Dr. Murray be guilty, and I don't think it really matters if he took all the pills or if it was a propofol. I mean, I, from what I understand, it was the, a dose of propofol is what killed him. So I don't know why they're now they're trying to say this lorazepam is what killed him. So I'm a little lost, and I'm sure the jury's a little lost. It's dragging on way too long, and they're going over all this stupid charts and specifics that really doesn't mean anything. We just need to get to the main point and say, look, here's what, here, the doctor was here administering this. He was under his care. He died, and the doctor did not do what he was supposed to do. Gross negligence. He's guilty. I'm not saying it's all his fault, but I'm saying it's 90% his fault. Um, but he should, uh, he should get some time and probably lose his practice. I, I hate to, I, you know, I know he's worked hard and he's probably a great cardiologist, but uh, people make mistakes and you have to pay for it. If I make a mistake at work, I have to pay for it. He makes a mistake, he has to pay for it. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm curious. I don't think it'll wrap up till probably uh, sometime in the next week, probably what first in the first week of November. Um, but I, I really would love to see closing arguments and I'd like to see what happens because. Uh, I don't think the defense really has much of a case either way. Uh, it's up to a jury. A jury is just like us. You know, we don't know a lot about the medical field. We're just listening to what's going on. All we know is Dr. Conrad Murray was in charge. He was there. He was administrating, administering a powerful sedative that was not supposed to be used in a house setting, and he died. So, to me, it's cut and dry. He is guilty. So... 
Anyway, anyway, if anybody has any comments, leave them in the comment section below. I will read them and uh, see what you guys think. But I think probably most people are going to be uh, right here with me on what what's going on. So that's all I've got. So I will talk to everybody later. Everybody have a good night and a good weekend. Bye.